Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and in today in Microsoft Flight Simulator we have, well, boats! Stick around guys. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future updates and future guides that will be coming down the road. Link to Patreon can be found in the description below. All right, so right off the bat, let's get the white elephant out of the room. The developer of this particular product reached out to me and asked if I'd be willing to review it and, and showcase it on my channel. You know, he even stated that, you know, I understand it's not some people's cup of tea. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm not 100% sure it's my cup of tea. However, I'm going to tell you guys right off the bat before you start going to those, uh, you know, swinging one direction or the other, I want you to think about something that I've been thinking about. Microsoft Flight Simulator, we already even have some people developing some cars for it. Now, they're sort of dying in the water. They haven't really gone anywhere, but they're out there. You can download a car from Microsoft Flight Simulator. Microsoft Flight Simulator as a platform offers the world as your playground. It offers incredible graphics, incredible scenery, scenery options that we haven't seen in any other flight simulator at this level and at this level of detail. Um, so why not? I want you guys to think about something for a second. I want you to picture yourselves maybe downloading one of those car mods, driving from your house, your house right now in the map, driving down through uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator down to your airport. You get to your airport, and then you're going to jump in a seaplane maybe, and you're going to fly down to your local, your local lake, your local river, wherever it may be. And there's another hop, right? Another cool thing to do with Microsoft Flight Simulator. You're going to fly to your river. You're going to land your seaplane. Then once you land your seaplane, you're going to switch over and you're going to get in your boat. And you're going to go haul ass around your water and, and, and tear through the water in your boat. Picture all that in VR. Picture all of that as, as you planning a day trip, maybe that you, you wanted to take you know, a big part of your life and you've never been able to. Something you've never been able to do. I want you guys just to open your minds up a little bit before we, we start you know, going with the you know, swinging one way or the other. And really take Microsoft Flight Simulator for what it has to offer. This is one of the things that truly does make it great. There's a lot of issues that we have that uh, we gripe about and you know we're struggling with when it comes to the simulator. This is one of those things that's an extreme benefit of the simulator. Now with that in mind, guys, let's go ahead and take a, a pause here on this particular um, scenery here and let's go take a look at the website so you guys can see exactly what the product is and how it's built and then we'll get into the actual review of the boat. Okay, so this is the boat that uh, was given to me as a review product. You can see here, you can find it on the sim market for 9.99 euros. I believe it's also available on uh, flightsim.2. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure I saw it there. And you can see he's even keeping up with his change log on the uh, main page of the description. That's a huge one for me. A lot of the times with developers, the change logs can be a little tough to find. So let's talk about how everything, you know, has progressed here. Um, I'm going to just talk about some of the basics here. Obviously, the high quality 8K PBR textures. I absolutely love those. I think the texturing is fantastically done. Uh, as again, as we see with the detailed models here, uh, low impact on frames. I can absolutely confirm that I haven't seen any issue with frame rate, wake effect and much more. I'll give them that. OK, version 2.0 pilot and passenger modeled sounds completely redone using uh, W wise. We'll talk about sounds in a little bit here. Um, yeah, that is something that, uh, you know, I may swing one direction or the other on here. Uh, floodlight panel lights, interior lights, floor lights have been added. So the second update looks like really brought a lot. Ten plus functional buttons and added to the side panels. Uh, and let's see here, several model and texture improvements. I mean, you guys can see I'll let you guys read through the rest. I guess I didn't need to go through the whole thing. Once I get reading, that's it. I just get going. Okay, so the biggest thing that I want you guys to talk about here is reverse was a big one. Now, I'm sure this has to do with the SDK. Um, the only aircraft that I can think of that is currently able to quote unquote back up would be something with reverse prop. Now, to the developer, I don't know if that's something that maybe you can use to get reverse without the use of uh, pushback. But uh, anyway, that maybe maybe that's something that we can look into later on, you know, or they can look into. I don't know why I said we. I wish I knew how to develop. I don't. Okay. Oh, 
What did I hit? I hit F1. That's what I hit. Okay. And then adding too much power too fast at lower speeds will lead to an extremely sensitive rudder and a lot of oversteer. This is because of the sensitivity. Okay. A sense of high speeds. Let you guys read that. That way you know what to expect. And here's what we have coming down the line. Version 3.0 paint kit and several liveries, large DPS tablet, better VR functionality, more to be announced in the future. Stay tuned. All right. So make sure that you guys do uh, obviously provide the developer with his feedback. He uh, states that he is welcome to hear it. And so now let's get back into the boat itself. Okay, so now with the boat itself, taking a look at the textures as we saw before, or as we were, saw on the website, they truly are fantastic. Absolutely beautiful textures. Uh, the modeling is done so wonderfully. Definitely keeping up with the standards and requirements that I feel that we, that all developers should be aiming towards when it comes to Microsoft Flight Simulator, giving its capabilities and, and graphics engine. I mean, even down uh, there, that's a skylight. And I can tell you down at night when you turn the lights on, you can actually see a pillow down there or a couple of pillows down there on a bed. So even, even that was modeled. Kind of cool. Uh, the passengers, you know, eh, I, I could take it or leave it. I guess that's really a preference thing. Um, I usually fly without the pilot bodies in there. So, you know, again, that's, that's up to you. Um, but however, the rest of the textures, like I said, are beautiful. Uh, you even got the reflections going on from the water and they're matching up with the boat. Everything looks absolutely wonderful. I will give them that. Absolutely. So now let's get into the elephant of the room. What's it like using a boat in Microsoft Flight Simulator? Well, let's go ahead and add some power. I did say it's add power slowly, otherwise we get that reduced rudder effect. And it's not that you can't, too, by the way. I've done it a couple times. So we pull power all the way back. You just get reduced rudder effect. That's all that happens. Now, I will tell you this. Let's talk about the first uh, bug in the room for me first bug in the room for me is uh, is the sound um, you guys know free product or not I'm always gonna be brutally honest um, when I'm in a speedboat and based on reading the description and, and seeing the way the boat itself looks coming outside seeing it you know running like this right tearing through the water I mean you can tell by the wake and the way it's moving it's clearly moving fast absolutely so I would expect to hear that right that we get from a speedboat that you expect to hear so the, the one critique that i have to the developer right now is just the sound and i know you just updated it, so i feel kind of crappy saying that i do apologize um but that would be my one critique especially if you're wanting this to be an immersive experience especially in vr sound is is critical to me so that way you guys have my background i i am i am a huge stickler on sound i could i could sacrifice so many things in order to keep the good sound and my reasoning for that is is because it's sort of like what I noticed here. I noticed it right away that the sound was off because the sound to me isn't matching how fast we're moving. Now I may be mistaken. Maybe I'm you know I'm no speedboat professional. Absolutely not. I think I've been in one my whole life. Let's go up top here. We're standing up, right? Um, but uh, you know it just. It feels like I sh we should be able to hear a bit more out of it. And I, again, I could be completely mistaken. Maybe there's a different model or a different version of a boat that, that would be better suited for what I'm looking for. Um, now, as far as the rest of the experience goes, when I first started this, when I first loaded it up, guys, I was very... I was like, well, I mean, I said I would do it. I'm going to give it my best, and I always do. I was pleasantly surprised. I, I, am, I am pleasantly surprised. I, I expected this to be like a, you know, something I did for a minute or two. I was like, eh, all right, well, it's cool. It's all right. And now I'm sitting here thinking about sort of like what I was talking to you guys about earlier, about I could find myself doing this in, in, in different scenarios, right? Um, as far as modeling and things like that go, we have a bunch of switches. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. I don't have anything down the side panel here, but I've got these guys here. Uh, let's do, 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 do. Uh, there's the cover we have a horn oh ah. come on okay there we go there's our horn <laughs> um, and we have headlights floodlights dash lights cabin lights electrical power uh, I think these are battery and alternators what these two are not sure what this one is what the fan is um, I haven't uh, really looked up at that yet um, bunch of great lighting 
We have... Oh, we have a tree. We have a tree. We have a tree. We have a tree. Mamma mia. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have... I mean, if we can have a car driving across the water, why can't we have a boat, right? Oh, look, there's another one. Ah, huh, there's stuff you don't say every day. Anyway, so the modeling is done very, very well. There's plenty of functionality to it, and I guess that I wouldn't expect a lot. Now, one of the things he did say that's coming in version 3.0 is a large navigation tablet. Um, so if you wanted to plot like a day trip, you know, zipping through maybe some of the rivers that maybe you find in, in Australia or something that you'd find, you, you know, in... Uh, well, actually, there's plenty of places actually I can think of that you might want to plot a course. Um, but like, you know, think about trying to take a boat down the Nile or something, you know. That's the beautiful part about... Microsoft Flight Simulator again is we can go anywhere we want. Anywhere that maybe we wouldn't be able to. So I'll admit that I was skeptical, but I will admit that I was also very shockingly pleasantly surprised. I mean, this definitely took me a direction I wasn't expecting to go. All right, my friends. Well, I'm not going to take up too much more of you guys' time with this one. Um, I like it. I really do. Um, I see a lot of potential for this. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below if this is something that you guys might be interested in. Think of it some cool places that you would take a speedboat. And uh, let me know down below and maybe we'll throw it up on the channel as well and uh, take some experiences and bring Microsoft Flight Simulator to a slightly different direction. Alright guys, as always, stay safe and healthy and uh, I will see you in the next one.